A very warm welcome to the LNER Community Stadium on this Tuesday night. Spring has well and truly sprung weather-wise in the UK, just like York City season, as they go into this game having been unbeaten in the last 12 games in all competitions under John Askey. My name is Robert Spiral. Thank you very much for joining me. And here is the team news. Peter Jameson starts whilst Michael Duckworth also starts. Maxim Corgan, Matty Brown as captain, along with Scott Barrow. And we are underway. Fans have travelled in their thousands here on to reach this game on a Tuesday night. Does a good one too with Michael Duckworth. McLaughlin is an option down the line, but it looks like he's in an offside position. Here's the cross from Duckworth towards John Lewis. Headed over the top. Right to Scott Barrow. York have been pretty productive on both sides so far in the opening few minutes. We're about to see it again here as Dyson moves into the box, cuts onto his left, takes the shot on. Down. Sariq here looks as if he might have been offside there. The flag stays down. In competition with Barrow. Burrow's in the middle. Here is Sariki, pulls it back, and Danny Elliott completely missed his kick. About McKay gives chase alongside Sariki. McKay wins it as York looked to counter. John Lewis joins the attack, so too does McLaughlin and Dyson. McKay onto his right foot towards Dyson on the edge of the box, and it's a very good save by Dewhurst. For the Boston have it on their left side. Here is Tanoj. Moving towards the centre. And once again, Sariki is in quite a lot of space out there on the right hand side. Now Elliott cuts onto his left, takes the shot on from long range. That's a terrific goal. Well, after missing two big opportunities earlier in the half, it is Elliott that uh, gives Boston the lead and in some style as well. It is York City nil, Boston United one, as McKay is forward. John Lewis too. Dyson went for the long range shot. It was hit low and easily blocked. But this looks like it will be the last chance of the first half. As McKay has it, cuts onto his right. Gets a good ball in. John Lewis is there. And he got the last punched away by Jameson. Looked like that was a handball by Tanoj. Play goes on as McLaughlin looks to find McKay. And that's a very good sprint after the really good ball and Sariki with some excellent defending. A lot of frustration. Sariki is somewhat out of position now. Here's McLaughlin, moves into the box, onto his right foot, deflection, comes to McKay. Laid off McLaughlin. Corner, goes out for a corner. Dyson came away with the ball. With the ball inside towards McLaughlin. And Hancock does well to bring it under control. What can he do here as he takes the shot on from long range? From our chunk of place so far in this second half, they had a free kick on the edge of the box. And also Hancock's shot went wide. McLaughlin, first time on the left foot half volley. Foul given, still in the vicinity of the box. Flicked on by Dyson towards John Lewis. Can't get it under control. It's incredibly scrappy in there. It's impossible to tell what was going on in the box. Tanaj comes away with it. Leesley first time to Burn. Has Burrow ahead of him. Burn goes for it. Jameson felt as have a chance to counter-attack. That was rather well played by Barrow. But once again, Boston come forward. It's 4v4 four four as Burn picks out Leesley on the left. And Skies is shot over the bar. Woods, fresh from the bench, coming forward. Willoughby, deflection, and it's just wide. That'll go for a corner. Clearance there by Byrne. We got it rather lucky as Duckworth gets a great cross in from Duckworth and headed over the top. That Surely not long left now. Headed on by Brown. Boston meet it again. And the long unbeaten run of 12 games without defeat comes to an end as York City suffered defeat for the first time since January 
and it comes against opponents who are also looking to land a playoff spot.